our longest trusted English newspaper since 1898. Now available digitally. Computer, order the Manila Times Digital Edition. Subscribed. Get the Manila Times Digital Edition for less than 2 pesos and 50 centavos per day when you sign up for one year. The Manila Times, new source of choice, trusted since 1898. Good day! Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Wednesday, May 4, 2022. The page one banner headline reads, Marcos Victory Inevitable Says Pulse. Less than a week before elections, independent pollster Pulse Asia said on Tuesday it was impossible for Vice President Maria Leonor Lenny Robredo to stage an upset against former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. or BBM, who got 56% in the firm's latest and last presidential election survey. Lenny rallies prep for people power. Candidate for president and former defense secretary Norberto Gonzalez said on Tuesday, the massive campaign rallies of Vice President Maria Leonor Lenny Robredo were preparing her supporters for another people power uprising if she loses the May 9, 2022 elections. Publica says five cities in NCR battlegrounds in mayoral race. As the May 9, 2022 elections draw near, five cities in the National Capital Region or NCR are considered battlegrounds for the mayoral race, Caloacan, Las Piñas, Malabon, Manila, and Pateros, according to the late April survey of Publicus. Public-Private Partnership Vital in Pandemic Recovery Presidential advisor for entrepreneurship, Jose Maria Joey Concepcion III, said the public and private sector's partnership paved the way for the Philippines' success in its battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Duterte stops Isabong. President Rodrigo Duterte has ordered the suspension of Isabong or online cockfighting operations. Cachalian pushes stronger crackdown on hazing. Senator Sherwin Gachalian called on the Department of Education and school authorities to fortify the campaign against hazing activities amid reports of hazing-related deaths. Deaths warned versus paying terror groups. National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr., who is also the Vice Chairman of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict, warned candidates that they faced disqualification if they collaborated with communist terrorist groups by paying the so-called permit to win and permit to campaign fees. In regional news, Reyes disqualification and rearrest sought. After the Office of the Solicitor General sought his rearrest, a disqualification complaint was filed before the Commission on Elections against former Governor Mario Joel Reyes, who is seeking a return to the province's top position in the coming May 9 elections. In world news, Suchi faces bribery charges in new trial. Ousted Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi went on trial on Monday in a new corruption case that alleged she took $550,000 in bribes from a construction magnet. Fighting rages in Odessa, more evacuations set. Fighting raged in the critical port city of Odessa and across eastern Ukraine as fresh evacuations of civilians from war-ravaged Mariupol were set to take place on Tuesday. In business, Ukraine war to slow Philippine growth. The Philippine economy is expected to further grow this year, but at a slower pace than what the government originally targeted, due to the effects of the Russia-Ukraine war, Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez said. And in sports, Suns eclipse Mavs, Heat scorch Sixers. DeAndre Ayton scored 25 points as top-seeded Phoenix overpowered Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks on Monday, Tuesday in Manila while Miami exploited the absence of Joel Embiid to rout Philadelphia in the NBA playoffs. Rigoberto Tiglao and Marlon Ronquillo are the featured columnists on the front page of the Times. Tiglao questions Lenny, Looney lying or lazy. Ronquillo quips a quantum of solace for embattled democracies. In the Times editorial, it is insisted that government must resolve Mindoro power crisis. Read all about it. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to our digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and keep up with the Times. This is the Fort Villaseran reporting. Have a great day ahead.